This is National 5 Relationships Unit Assessment Practice. We're looking at the trigonometry section. The section covers three questions, questions 17, 18 and 19, and they meet uh, the standard of 1.5, the assessment standard. Right, the, the questions are going to be out of six marks in total, and you're required to uh, pass three to be successful in this, uh, this unit. Okay, let's, let's go ahead and we'll go for question 17 first of all. And what we've got to do here is we have to sketch the graph of the following and we'll look at the range that's involved, so it's between 0 and 360 degrees and we'll need to label any important points that, uh, that are on this graph. Right then, so I've got y is equal to 5 sin x. So I know that the graph of y equals sin x on its own will go up to 1, down to minus 1 and it has a period of 360 and that's a graph that you should be familiar with. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to, going to draw the graph that will have a larger amplitude. So this 5 here will just multiply all the y-coordinates, and it will multiply the y-coordinates by 5. But if we're going to do a graph for that, what I'll do is I'll just set up um, some axes here. So that's going to be my x-axis, that there's going to be my y-axis. I know that the period of the graph is going to be 360 degrees. So what I'll do is I'll start with 360 there, I'm going to half that, that'll be 180, half of that again is going to be 90. If I add the two of these together, that gives me three quarters, which would be 270. So what I've done is I've just set up the x-axis like that there. And because I've just to do a sketch, what I'll do is I'll look at the, uh, the amplitude, and the amplitude here is going to be 5. So the graph's going to go up to 5, and it's going to go down to minus 5. So let's make it the graph set up. I know that the sine curve would normally go from 0 up the way and then down the way. So that's a normal shape of the curve, and that's what I'm going to draw here. What I'll do is I'll put some dots where I know that the, the graph is going to go through. So I've got here, which is the, the 0, 0. I've got 90, and it goes up there. So it starts up the way, goes up to 90 and 5, comes back through the x-axis at 180, at 270, it reaches its lowest point at minus 5, and then it comes back to 360, and then it will start repeating. Okay, so let's draw this graph. So from there, just through the points, through this point first, comes back down through the 180, coming back through here, down at the bottom here, and up to there. Okay, and that's the question complete. Right, so let's see the marks for this one here. So the marks are going to be given for getting the correct amplitude, for getting the correct period as well. So that's only going to be one mark for these here. The next mark is for drawing the correct graph and making sure that you write down the x uh, roots. So that's where it crosses through the, uh, the x-axis and drawing the correct shape of graph. So this question here is going to be out of two marks. I've got another two questions here to do, so you can try these. I'm going to just go for the solutions. Okay then, let's go for it. Right, so similar to the one before, what I'll do is I'll draw a set of axes down. Okay. Got my x-axis here. Got my y axis going up in this direction here. Right, so I know that uh, the, the normal sine or cosine graph, the both of them have got a period of 360 degrees. Okay, so I know that the cosine graph with no number in there goes up to 360, and remember that's the range that I'm going to be working with anyway. So that's going to be 360. Let's get the other values in. So I'll half that, which will give me 180, half it again will give me 90. Add these two together, and that gives me 270. So that sets up the, uh, the x uh, axis for me here. I know that I'm going to go up to 3 and down to minus 3, because that there tells me what the amplitude is going to be. So I'm going to go up to 3, and I'm going to go down to minus 3. So about there somewhere. OK, so that's my setup to, to draw the curve. Remember, the cosine curve is a bit different from the sine curve. Remember, that starts up at 1, usually comes down the way, 
bottoms out and then comes back up before it starts repeating. So that's the shape that I'm going to try and draw here. So instead of starting at 1 like it normally does, it's 3 times 1 which will start up at 3. So I'm going to start up here, I'm going to come back through the x-axis at 90, I'm going to bottom out down the bottom here at uh, minus 3, okay, for on the y-axis, and that'll be 180 on the x. Back up through here at uh, 270, and then finally going to here at 360 before it starts to repeat. And what I'll do is I'll just draw that curve again. So it's going to be that shape. So from there, coming out, down through there, bottoming out there, up it goes, and finally up to there. So remember the marks are for the amplitude, the period gives me one mark, correct shape of graph, and through the correct points here would give me the final marks. So that's two marks. Right, final one here on this type of question. Right, let's go the same way. It's a sine graph. I've got my x-axis here. I'll just say that's 360. I'm going to half it, so that's about there, so that'll give me 180. Half of that is 90, and in there, 270. Right, so my y-axis, I can see it's uh, it's not just a 10, it's a minus 10 here. So it's going to be a, a bit of a different shape, okay? But I, I know it'll still go up to 10, and it'll go down to minus 10 on the graph. But remember, the normal sign goes in this direction here. So there's a sign graph that's there. So this one here, being a minus sign, is going to start in the opposite direction. So it's going to just go in the opposite direction from that graph that's there. Right, so from there I can put some points down. So it's going to start at zero because it's the sign graph that's here. We're going to go down the way, so it's going to go down here to 90 and minus 10. It will then come back up through the 180 at zero. At 270, we're up there at 10, and then it comes back down, and it finishes off at 360 before it starts to repeat. So let's just uh, draw that curve. So from there, down the way, down to minus 10, up the way through the x-axis, up to here, back down to there. And that's the graph of y is equal to minus 10 sine x. Again, the period 360 degrees. I've got it going to a maximum of 10 here and a minimum of minus 10 there. And uh, I should get my two marks for making sure that I annotate the graph correctly. So two marks for that question there. Let's now look at uh, question 18. So question 18, what we're doing is we're looking at the period of the graph. That's what we're interested in here. So we're going to write down the period of the graphs below. So I can see I've got cosine, sine, sine, I've got tan, so I've got a mixture of all of the uh, the, um, the the trig um, equations that are here. What I'm going to go for is I'm going to look back up here and just remind you that the period of the graph normally, if it was a sine x graph, y is equal to sine x, is going to be 360 degrees for both the sine and the cosine. So if I know that, that's the normal one. So what I'm looking at here is the number that appears in here is going to tell me how many cycles there are within 360. So I've got two cycles within 360 degrees. So all I'm going to do to work out the period is I'm going to divide 360 by 2, which gives me 180 degrees. And that's my answer. I'm only going to get one mark for this question here, so that's only going to be out of one. Okay, just getting the correct answer. Right, if I look here, the, I've got three cycles within 360 degrees. So for here, my period is going to be equal to 360 divided by 3. So I'm going to get 120 degrees as my answer here. Over here, again, the period is 360 divided by whatever number is there because that tells me there's eight cycles within 360 degrees. So that there gives me 45 degrees. Now looking at tan 2x, now that's slightly different from what we have for cosine and sine because the normal period 
of a graph that be y is equal to tan x is 180 degrees, okay? So that makes a difference because when I'm working out y is equal to tan 2x, I know there's two cycles within 180 degrees. So for the tan, the period is going to be equal to 180 divided by 2, which gives me 90 degrees as an answer there. Here, what we've got is, I've got 3 cosine 4x, okay, y is equal to 3 cosine 4x. This number here, remember, in the previous question was just telling me about the amplitude, didn't change the period, so this one's the only one that I'm interested in here, and that tells me there's four cycles. So the period is equal to 360 divided by 4, and if I divide 360 by 4, I'll get an answer of 90 degrees. This one here, the 6 isn't going to change the period for me, it's just going to be the 12 that tells me something about the period. There's 12 cycles within 360 degrees. 360 divided by 12, and that gives me an answer of 30 degrees. And remember, that's only one mark that we're going to get for that one there. Let's now move on to question 19. So question 19 is worth uh, three marks. And what we're going to do here is we're going to try and solve the following equations. We've got a range between 0 and 360 degrees. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to try and find out the value of x that makes the equation true. The way that I'm going to work that through is I'm going to try and get sine x on its own first of all, and then I'm going to find out the, the angle. Right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take that minus 2 over to the other side. So what I have here is... 3 sine x is equal to 2. I'll then divide by the 3. So I've got sine x is equal to 2 over 3. From there, I'm interested in there, that point there. Is it positive or negative? It's obviously it's positive, isn't it? So then I can then think about where it appears on the cast diagram. From there, I know it's positive, so all angles are positive in the first quadrant, so that's where one of my solutions are going to be. I'm also looking at, this is sine x, so sine x is positive, so where the s is, I'm going to be looking for a solution there. So it's in quadrant 1 and quadrant 2. In quadrant 1, I work out the acute angle, okay? So I'll go for the acute angle, first of all, okay? So the acute angle here, the way I'm going to work that out, is just going to take the inverse. So it's going to be the sine to the minus 1, or the shift button, of 2 thirds, or 2 divided by 3 in a bracket. If I do that in my calculator, what I'm going to get is, I'm going to get 41, 41.8 degrees. Make sure that your uh, calculator is in degrees and not in radians for, for this work here, if you're borrowing one. I'm then looking for an answer in the uh, second quadrant, so this would be the quadrant 2 solution. And remember, whenever I'm trying to work anything out in here, I work out the x for the, uh, the acute angle. In here, it'd be 180 minus the angle that I find there. So let's go ahead and do that. So in here, I've got x is equal to 180 minus 41.8 degrees. And from there, on the calculator, I've got 138.2. 138.2, and that's in degrees. So finally, my solutions, they're going to be x is equal to 41.8, and I've got 138.2 degrees. So there's my solutions. Okay, so three marks here. We've got the first mark we're going to get is for getting sine x on its own and getting the correct value on the other side of the equal sign. I'll get uh, one mark for getting one of the solutions and the other mark for the other. So that's the three marks. So that there is going to be out of three. Okay. Give you a chance to try these questions here. I'm just going to go ahead and do them in a couple of seconds. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to get cosine x on its own, the same as I've done here. Okay, so I've got four. Cosine x is equal to three, taking the three over the other side. Cosine x is going to be equal to 3 quarters. I'm interested to see if that's positive or it's negative. Obviously it's positive. So what we can do there is find out where it lies in the cast table. If it's positive, 
all angles are positive there and if it's cosine that's positive I'm looking for an answer in there that's in the fourth quadrant let's work out the acute angle it's cosine this time so that be the inverse cosine or shift cosine and we've got three quarters that will appear in there so on the calculator if I work that through 41 point 41.4 degrees I get there. It's a quadrant 4 angle that I'm going to work out. So if I've worked out X in there, I'm going to work out 360, take away the value that I've just found, the acute angle. So let's go and do that. Quadrant 4 is going to be 360 minus the 41.4 and that should give me an answer of 318.6 degrees. So my solutions just to clarify it, x is equal to 41.4 degrees and 318.6 degrees. Okay, the final question here. I've got 5 tan x plus 2 equals 0, so let's get tan x on its own. So I've got 5 tan x is equal to minus 2 this time, okay. So that's tan x is going to be equal to minus 2 over 5. So in here, looking as that positive or is it negative? So that's going to be negative, that's a negative there. So what I'm going to do is for my cast table, I know that uh, tan and all are usually positive here and here. So if it's a negative, it must be the opposite places that I'm going to be looking for my solution. So quadrant three and quadrant four. Although I'm still looking for quadrant three and four, I still want to find out the acute angle that's here. So that's the way I'm going to go that and do that. So my acute angle is going to be equal to, so it's the inverse tan this time. And what I'm going to be looking at is just 2 over 5. So if I look in there, what I've done, there's no negative used. What I'm doing is I'm just going to find out the acute angle and I'm going to use that to help me work out the other angles that are here. So on the calculator, so that's going to be 21.8 degrees for this one here. Right, so let's look at the solutions. So I'm looking at quadrant 2 first of all, the quadrant 2 solution. So that's going to be 180 minus the value I've just worked out there. And that's going to be equal to 158 2 degrees, so there's my first solution. Quadrant 4, my other one. And remember in quadrant 4, it's going to be 360 minus the acute angle that I worked out. That's going to give me an answer of 338.2 degrees. Okay. And what I'm going to do is just uh, write down what the solutions are. So my solutions, remember this is not a solution this time, that's my first solution. Solution is 158.2 degrees and the other one is 338.2 degrees from there. Okay, so three marks for this question here. Remember, six marks for the three questions. Make sure you try and get the, the six of them. I think what you need to do is make sure that you're, you're good at this question here to make sure you pick up uh, most of the marks. Three marks here, which is really important. Um, good luck on this outcome here. And uh, this is outcome 1.5.